Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're in the garage and we're going to be going over the 10 jet ski trailer modifications that you need to make to your jet ski trailer. So if you want to know what those are, then you're in the right place. So stick around and let's go. All right guys, so we got 10 jet ski trailer modifications that you need to make to your jet ski trailer pretty much as soon as you buy it. So. We're going to go over what I've done to my jet ski trailer as well as two modifications that I haven't yet done but I, that I plan on doing at some point and we'll kind of work our way from the back of the trailer to the front of the trailer. All right guys so the first tra the first modification is not necessarily for the trailer but it goes on the trailer and that are these remove before flight key lanyards. I really like these because they're bright red and that, I mean that's their their point is to get your attention and what they remind me to do is to put in my drain plugs on the jet skis. So whenever I come back here and I start unhooking these um, these ratchet straps, I see this remove before flight and that reminds me, hey, I need to put in my drain plugs to make sure that we always have our drain plugs in when we're out on the water. Shout out to uh, Broncos Guru, <laughs> Drain Plug Mafia. <laughs> drain pl yeah. Can't steal our drain plugs, they're attached. <laughs> yes, I'm sure, if you, I'm sure if you wanted to, you probably could do that. If you pull hard enough, it'll come out. Yeah. All right guys, so next up is a good set of tail lights. We've had several issues with the taillights that came with the trailer uh, flooding with water or breaking off or whatever. So wanted to make sure that we got a good quality set of taillights here. I have no guarantees that these are gonna last forever either, but they do look cool. <laughs> and you're gonna need to replace them at some point. All right guys, and before we move on, make sure you hit that subscribe button because if you do so, it really help us out and we really appreciate it. All right, so the next modification we wanna make is we wanna relocate the rear strap mount location. So when I bought this trailer, they actually had it mounted here on the tail light. This was a bad idea because as I strapped down the jet skis, it would put a lot of pressure from the ratchet straps onto this tail light and would pull it out. Uh, I tried switching it to the other side, the opposite side of this I-beam here. Um, but with that, what I still found was that these bolts were putting a lot of pressure as the straps pulled and actually doing uh, stress fractures on this um, aluminum taillight mount and so I've lost a couple taillights that way and had to come home a few times with a broken taillight so that was no fun so what I've finally done is I have mounted it here at the top of this I-beam uh, which was a little tricky to get to because with the drill I don't really have a good angle at it so what I had to do was jack the entire jet ski up remove this bunk out of the way to where I could drill it from the top down and then once I got that set here haven't had any issues since then next up on our list are a good set of jack dollies. So these may not be the best set, but they are a good set. <laughs> <laughs> they are a set. <laughs> uh, these are the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh jack dollies. We got these on sale for about $65. And we've done a full review of these. Uh, you can check that link in the description below. Uh, but if you're like me and you have to store your jet skis in a garage and you kind of have tight on space, these are a godsend because they help move the jet skis sideways, left to right, and mix it so we can get these things all the way out of the way. Next up on the list is a good set of safety chains. And I'm not talking about the safety chains that hook the trailer to your vehicle. I'm talking about safety train chains that hook your jet ski to the trailer. Now these are mandatory, I believe in Australia is where I got the idea. I heard that they are required down there, but they're not required in the US, but I do think that they are a good idea. Uh, this is a slack chain. It's not meant to present, prevent thieves. What it's actually meant to help with is if you get into an accident, uh, this is gonna keep that jet ski on the trailer or at least nearby the trailer instead of ending up in someone's windshield. So basically it just wraps around the trailer and then up through your center eye hook here and we make sure that we apply, you know, that these are attached every time that we're gonna take the trailer down the street. Next up on our list is a good quality center bunk. So you can see I've got my center bunk here. This is a 12 inch wide bunk. I highly recommend spending the extra money on getting a wider one. We see people with six inch wide ones all the time. The 12 inch is definitely what you want because it's gonna provide that extra stability when you're getting on and off the jet skis. Makes it super easy to climb up on these things. Um, and especially when you're at the dock, you know, having it carpeted, no slip. Uh, and this is really simple modification to make. This is a 12 foot long board. It's a two by 12 by 12. So I just bought it directly off the shelf and it actually fits on exactly perfectly. I didn't even have to cut it or anything. Uh, I did get some extra trailer bunk uh, mounts and, uh, underneath, and that's how I've got it mounted here. I call it a center bunk, but you could call it a gangplank, whichever one you want to use. 
Uh, to me, it's more like a bunk because it's got bunk carpet on it. Christine says it's a gangplank because we're pirates. <laughs> okay, and so the way I have it mounted on the rear here, you can see that the, the center bunk extends all the way to the end of the jet skis. So you can actually board from the rear as well. Uh, and because I have a center light here, I had to put a small two by four to hold it up and take the uh, bunk mounts to either side of that light, even though this light doesn't work. It's never worked since I bought the trailer. But yeah, just basically uh, trailer bunk mounts hold this thing up and it works really great. And as you can see, it holds my entire weight, makes it super easy to walk. You don't have to worry at all about where you step because basically with it being 12 inches, it's impossible for me to get my foot somewhere where the um, where the bunk is not. And when you're at the ramp, you need to hop on your jet skis. It's one simple step. You're right on there. The next modification is actually a non-slip pad. And I've installed that right here on this aluminum bar. So this gives you a good place to put your foot when you're kind of stepping up onto the gangplank here. Make sure that you don't slip, especially when these things get wet. They can be very slippery. So uh, just a couple non-slip non -slip, uh, stickers there have worked really well. And for the final modification that I have on my trailer, this is a swing arm. So I had this factory installed, uh, but it's really not that hard to do yourself. Basically what it does is it allows the arm of the trailer to swing out of the way. And then that gives me an extra two, two and a half feet in this case to fit it here in my garage. When they installed it, they probably could have even installed it a little bit further back and I probably could have got closer to four feet of additional space. Uh, but this is the way that they did it for this trailer. So. Uh, but either way, this thing has been great. I love that the whole jet ski trailer fits in the garage and it's out of the way. You don't have to worry about the elements or anybody um, messing with it. Our HOA is happy about it. It needs to be in the garage, so works out really well. All right, guys, so that covers all the modifications that I have made to the trailer. Now i got two other modifications that I want to make to the trailer, and I probably will uh, very soon. So number one is I want to replace this jockey wheel. This is the one that came with the trailer. Uh, it's not a very good quality one. It has a lot of trouble rotating it. I haven't taken the best care of it either, and it's got quite a bit of rust on it. I'd like to replace it with a very nice aluminum one from Fulton. They make some great ones I've heard good things about. Really, to make it easier to kind of rotate that wheel so when we shove this thing over to the corner, it uh, should be that much easier. So the one that we got on there now is just, it's a little bit difficult. And the final modification for this list is, again, another one that I haven't done yet, but one I've thought quite a bit about, and that are guide poles. So a number of people do put guide poles on their trailers. I think it helps a lot when you have a boat. With jet skis, it's quite it's not quite uh, necessary, but the one big advantage that I've recently come across with these is that you can actually run the guide poles up to here and put your trailer uh, lights on the guide poles, and then that'll keep those lights out of the water. So that way you're not having to replace the lights every year. So that's something I'm possibly gonna be doing in the near future. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up today. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything else that you've done to your trailer or anything else that you think I'm missing. I'd love to hear about it. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. Uh, okay. You messed up your outro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no, no, um, no slick, no... Slip. Cut. Yeah. I call it a center bunk, but you can call it a gangplank. Oh, God. Okay. I'm getting too much tushy. Okay. No, you can put your pants up. Yeah. My camera focus. Well, here, you just talk. It's recording. Oh, I see a sharky above your, above your head. Sharky? To the left. Oh. Yeah. It's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goofy. Mm -hmm. It's my style.